Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Straight Talk Vermont. My name is Lauren Thibault, Executive Assistant for Service Rendered. We're here today with Honorable Mayor Christine Lott of Winooski. Thank you, Christine, for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And Bruce Wilson, of course. Hey, thanks. And just to, just to um, this is the afternoon. Oh, yes. Good, <laughs> good afternoon. Well, who knows when they'll be who watching knows? it? I, good afternoon, morning, and night. Tell. Anyway, <laughs> go right ahead, guys. All right. So we are joined here by Mayor Christine. Um, she is the mayor of Winooski, the first woman elected as mayor as well. It's amazing, making history right from day one. Super exciting. Very exciting. Um, so I wanted to start kind of from the beginning. Um, did a little bit of researching on your biography, and I noticed that you were born and raised and went to school in Michigan. That's right. I grew up in Michigan. Um, you know, I was in a in a small town in Southwest Michigan. Went to Michigan State University, and it was probably a year after college that I actually moved out to Vermont initially. Right. So, how did you kind of what brought you here? How did you find out about you know wanting to move to Vermont? I actually had um, some friends who had moved out here. Uh, a friend came out here for a teaching job at a school, and after college, I didn't really know what I was doing, what I wanted to do, um, and they had offered I could come stay with them and check it out. And so I was like, oh, I've never been to the Northeast. Let me just see what this is about. Drove out here. Um, I actually remember specifically when I drove, when I first drove from Michigan, it was like a, I don't know, 15 hour drive. Um, at the end of the night, I was coming through Winooski through the rotary and I was like, what is up with this roads here? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I was um, staying with these friends out in Jericho for a couple of months um, and getting to know the area. And immediately when I was ready to you know, find my own place, Winooski was the spot. Um, right. That's where I chose. And in the years since then, I ended up meeting my husband who actually grew up in Winooski um, and, you know, owned a home there. And so here I am still. Awesome. You know, it's so funny. You know, you from Mich you, Michigan, you know, I'm from Chicago, so we're right around the curve from each other. That's right. And, but you know what? It takes me like 19 hours to drive from Chicago. <laughs> Everybody say 15. And I'm like, hey, how come I can't get it in 15? And I can't a little more traffic to... by you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably so. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So you lived in Winooski kind of once you settled, and you've been here ever since. Um, it's awesome connection with your husband growing up here. Uh, how did you get your foot into the politics aspect? What were you like? What was your job and role before leading up? Um, it's actually, I saw a listing in the school and community newsletter looking for folks to join a housing commission. Um, having rented for years and really struggled with, you know, finding decent quality housing that, you know, rent prices, even worse now, but being high as they were then. Um, I thought, here's an opportunity, I have an interest in here, here's an opportunity to give back, but also be more connected to my community. So having my spouse who grew up in the area, you know, he knew so many people, knew a lot of the history, and I felt like I didn't have that. Like I hadn't made a ton of friends, I didn't know a ton of people here. And so I actually started as a way to just be more connected. Um, and then clearly it escalated. Um, I went from, excuse me, I went from serving on our housing commission to then I ran for a seat on the city council after two councilors, you know, their terms completed. There were these two open seats. Um, and again, it, it was like, I have the time and interest. Somebody needs to do this. So I thought, like, I'll volunteer for that. Um, there really wasn't like a planned trajectory. Right. That's awesome jumping into it. Um, did you have any background interest in politics, like growing up? Did you kind of have this vision or is it something that came to you once you got to Vermont? I've always been interested. Like I would follow things in the news. I'm interested in how politics and policy, you know, trickle down into our day to day lives. I did, I think for one semester in college, I was like a poly science major. I wasn't really into it, so I didn't. Um, I never actually saw myself in like this 
um, forward-facing role, you know, being the mayor is very much out in the community, like the face of that work. I really have always been more interested in like behind the scenes and how are things happening. But in this role, I feel like I'm able to be involved in like strategy and, and facilitating conversations and connecting people. And, um, you know, Bruce is a great connector. Um, hear it when I hear about a, a need or an idea and I know somebody else is also interested in that or has resources or something like being able to find those connections is really rewarding. Right, exactly. Well, up. So, <laughs> Your Honor, oh man, you're incredible doing everything you just said, you know, and um, I'm just so happy that, you know, you're my mayor and, um, and the mayor of uh, Winooski because, it's, you know, it's been a lot of changes, you know what I mean? A lot of changes in, um, since you've been mayor and, and a lot of changes um, just because of the times the times, you know, yeah. of um, we living, you know, COVID and different, all kinds of stuff. But, um, but as far as the infrastructure and everything about um, um, Winooski, you know, and housing and, um, you know, schools and everything, everything is really raised up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, I know that's, that's you, you know, you continue to do that. And like, and I get on these things, these boards, commission, whatever, for the city of um, Winooski because I know that the, I get to work for a mayor like you and that, and I know what your goals. You want to get see it done. You're a great listener, listener as well. Thank you. I know when you like, you know, you would want to be in the back. I'm, I see you in the council meetings, and you just, you know, you're a great listener. You know what I mean? And um, how important is that? You know. So I just want to thank you. You know. Thank well, you. it's so important in in local government that, like, I don't I don't want to be driving all the decisions. Like, it's about like lifting up the voices of the community and how do we get towards what people need and people want. Um, and so having great volunteers like like you and folks who join on commissions, like how I started, or um, the committee that helped with the recent centennial celebration and the folks who uh, run for city council and put themselves out there for that. Um, like being willing to get engaged there, um, share your perspectives is really key. And then also what you hear from others and, and help sharing information out to have as many people as we can be involved. Mm -hmm. Right. I love the, the hands-on approach is really important when, you know, you're making a community stronger, of course. Um, when you were running for mayor, how did you represent yourself to the community and portray what uh, you stand for going in as mayor? Um, one piece was about that engagement. Like, I want to make sure that decision making is happening with community members and that like government is not separate and just doing whatever back here behind the scenes. Um, and that important decisions have a lot of outreach. You know, we've been working to increase connections in um, new American and, and non-English primary speaking communities who we haven't been as connected to, um, lower income residents, like trying to make sure we can reach more people as we make important decisions. Um, so that was important to me and something that I talked about. Um, and then, oh, I'm having a bit of a moment. <laughs> well, I, well, I know this for a fact, just like, I don't know. This. Oh, the vision. Oh, oh the vision. The vi yeah. So we, we have a master plan, right? And there's already been a lot of community vision building that I wanted to help carry that forward. Like, I don't want us to create something new. We kind of know where we want to be in the future. And so through engagement, through supporting staff and, and working with partners, like how do we get towards that shared vision? Well, I know for a fact that um, I don't know no city to have like commissions like going for safe and healthy and connected people. How big is that? And then um, um, like um, the the Winooski plan, I don't want those cities to have a Winooski plan, so it's a plan that I helped, you know, and I was a part of, mm -hmm. you know, and like, that's to be building a whole daggone city. And we're from sidewalks to uh, youth centers to tr trees and all kind of cool stuff, you know? Yeah, it's, it's like a list of goals that reflects yeah. community values and what people find mind. important. And w my point is that, you know, people in the community, you know, help create that plan. 
you know, everybody everybody was welcome to help be a part of the plan. Absolutely. You know, and so um, so that's what I'm trying to say. I, when, I'm just underscoring what you're saying about you need everybody to help you with the goals and aspects of what the things that's happening with Nuski. And so, you know, I'm a witness for, you know, especially that plan is incredible, you know. It well, really is nice. It's a nice plan. And Winooski is an engaged community. Like, people do turn out. People do want to be involved. Um, I hear it when, like, consultants or folks from state agencies come into a meeting or an event that we have more people show up um, and speak out than, than in other areas. So that's a really nice thing about living where we do. Right. Where all three of us happen yeah. to. Right. Woo-hoo! It's our mayor. That's our mayor right there. <laughs> So um, um, well, if people want to pick up that plan, what, what could they do? Was it a link or something? Or yeah, so WinooskiVT.gov is the city website. There's a series of tabs across the top. I can't remember what it says. Mm -hmm. uh, but like our strategy, <laughs> it includes the master plan um, and all of the relevant documents. So there's like the list of goals we're working towards. We have a transportation master plan, which shows where we're trying to like add sidewalks, add bike lanes over time. Um, you know, a lot of these changes take a long time, but we do have at least these guiding documents to help us continue moving forward. Yeah, and, and, and I, told, I told my team, I told Lauren that um, um, that's why they want to do um, some type of event at um, Skate Park, is that I had a team of people we met, you know, from the people who used the park, we met like five, four or five times, and then they presented and they had like, Google Maps and all kind of cool stuff of the skate park, how they and how they want to improve it or whatever. And then, um, at the time, the people from um, who was the name of those people who helped put together our, our plan, our vision of um, oh uh, the parks and open space plan. Yeah, I mean those people that came, that, that consultants that yeah you remember the regional planning commission. They were there, but it was somebody. There was we, another. We hired her. We hired there was another her. specific, yeah, and we, I can't remember their company. Yeah, but that's okay. But the whole thing about it, so what, when we presented our plan to them, based on they 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 adopted it, and so it's in the it's in the master plan, the mm -hmm. skate park, what we created. So I'm so I'm happy about that because that came from people who used the park. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Wow, how wonderful is that? Yeah. So you know, can't wait till we break that out. But are we? Is it actually? What so? So what's going to, I mean, it's all about, there's a wonderful plan. We still need to raise uh, um, the money. We still need to raise money to actually do it. But um, is anything being done now? Like anything within, within the master plan? I mean, On the skate park specifically? No, no, no. Oh, just, just in general? Anything. Yeah, um, a lot. The, we are, so we have the Main Street Revitalization Project which carries out some of that vision, right? Improves bike and pedestrian along Main Street, um, more trees, um, improved economic activity. So that's something that was voted on a couple years ago. Voters supported a bond for that. Hopefully we can start this summer. The pandemic has been an issue. There is a hotel and new parking garage development project downtown in the dirt lot, um, kind of by Casavant in the river. That's also been slowed down. Um, we are hopefully close to launching a housing trust fund, which will give community members access to, um, you know, there's a down payment assistance program, um, program to get funds to rehab housing and then to create affordable housing. So that drives towards some goals. Um, we're launching a new Winooski Inclusion and Belonging Commission, which we just appointed Bruce to. Um, which we are hoping to use to work towards one of our goals of having these bodies be more representative of the community and making government more inviting and inclusive. Um, we have some funding for a, a park improvement plan at the West Allen Park. So there's like a dog park and then like basketball court and stuff. Want to make some improvements to the, the youth side of that. Um, so we, we got a grant to do like a, essentially get to construction documents, not actually do the building yet, right? Um, there's a lot of that where we have to get the plans in place, like the actual, like here's how you could build or engineer this. And then we have to seek funding again from there to do the actual construction. Um, and so like East Allen Street, there's gonna be some the state, VTrans is doing some work over the summer out there that's going to do some lane changes, crosswalk improvements that will upgrade that corridor and make it more safe. 
but then there's like a longer term plan even more with um, once more funding is available that could make further improvements down there. There's a lot, a lot going on. Um, I feel like it's, we're very active. Um, you know, there's a lot of people involved, a lot of projects that are underway. And again, like driving towards that shared community vision, we have something to focus on and we're just trying to figure out how can we get closer to it over time. Right. Uh, yeah, so, um, you know, me, in, um, like, you know, um, we're very blessed we have a culture diverse community, New Americans in, mm -hmm. in Winooski, probably more than many, many cities at least. In Vermont. In Vermont. And so, you know, I'm always want to make sure that, you know, those individuals, uh, people who look like me or, or color that look like mine, are um, a part of everything that we do. You know, I know I see a lot when we do we vote on things, when we have meetings down at the O'Brien Center, a lot of people, uh, New Americans and people of color attend, and that's uh, sponsored by the city. And so I, I like that, and the ideas and the, the objectives of the meeting is, um, is very important, the agenda items are very important, just like, like um, um, talking to the, the new city manager candidates, you yeah. know, um, and see who, who's, um, <laughs> Um, kind of like on your platform of how you like to see a city manager. And so a lot of people were there, new Americans were there, the candidates were there. And I thought that was real good too. And, and then um, I think, and then we did something about um, um, talking about um, uh, equity and inclusion. And then we had some consultants come and help us decide on what it feels like, what it looks like, what they think, what we think, um, how can we get better? You know, what's our ideas and suggestions? And so um, that was awesome, you know. And plus, uh, we got, I think I, I, they gave me some money. They gave me a stipend. Oh. All, everybody in there. Yeah. I, I think, I don't know, it could have been 50 bucks. <laughs> I didn't even know about that. <laughs> could have been $50, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I didn't know about that when I, because I came. I, 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 th I think we are trying a lot of things. Um, you know, and thanks to staff ideas, to having an equity director or working with a consultant or the voices of community members' recommendations, we are trying a lot of new things to try to make sure we are including mm. everybody in the discussion and making things inviting. And it does take, like, different forms of outreach. Not everybody is going to come to a scheduled evening meeting. Not everyone's going to go to a community center event. Like, you have to do many forms of outreach to reach many different people when it comes to important topics. I think the two that you need, um, the city needs to come up, I don't know if, if you've got any technology grants, you know, so we can build on our social media, because most people um, who look like me or people of color, they're not necessarily going to tune into, now I'm, I'm tell, we've been telling mayors, mayors this, a couple of mayors and city managers in essence, that people who look like me are not going to tune in to um, City Hall's website unless yeah. they're trying to figure out where they're going to pay their um, something. Parking ticket. Parking ticket. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's the same with the police. I told Rick the same thing. Yeah. Our chief, our, honorable, our good chief in New Winooski. And, um, you know, and they'd be like, you know, you guys be like, yeah, we got it on social media. We got this, uh, you know, everything is you know, locked down. I'm like, who's going to, who's looking at that? Nobody's looking at, you know, maybe they're looking at now, hopefully, I don't know how many hits we got on all the cool events we've been doing, you know, in, um, in Winooski, you know, incredible events that we pull, out, pull off, you know. Um, so they might look on it now to see what kind of events what we're doing. You know, we just had the 100 for one Saturday, which was incredible. I was, I kind of, kind of was there and was not. <laughs> but, um, but I know, I saw all the people. I know it was a lot, it was good. Big it was a good turnout, big, yeah. Big turnout. And so, um, well, so my point is that, so they might look at it that, but people... You know, I, I've been saying this from from day one, is that we need to do boots on the ground. I mean, I know there's there there is no more miracle visits or or it, um, do we have any interns? Somebody just can go door to door. We're seeking one right now um, to fill an AmeriCorps Vista position. You need like two. We might have two. We had two at one point. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it does take staff and time to do that. Well, I mean, we still need like two, pe two people, like a male and a female, you know what I mean, to go out together, you know what I mean, not just one. You know, and a male, you know, he don't get much um, hits like a, a lady would, I mean, if, when you're talking to people, 
you know, so you need both. And so, and then I can just um, do the, a survey to everybody and, and just sit there and figure out three letter, three surveys, get them win some Winusi Strong shirt or something, you know, and, um, and um, learn from them what they like about their community, their Winooski. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, let me say, they they don't believe that the that um like the police serve them. They say that the um they only serve the white people, and the police are always at the um, people who look like me, mm -hmm. and they, and they don't feel comfortable. They don't feel a part of anything because there's nothing um there for them. And this and this, I've been knowing that for years. That's why I always been trying to trying to do something. You know what I mean? And, and we and we are, we are because they need to be a part of it. They need to feel it. Boots on the ground is that's the most important thing, and you have to get the people like um, like one thing I didn't like about the um, the uh, O'Brien said the underground youth center, which I'm a founding member of, um, in, at the that the city would hire American Vistas that were um, white people, and then people that they were serving was people of um, New Americans, mm -hmm. and then there, there was no interpreters really. There was um, we finally kind of getting it right right now. We still ain't got it right. Yeah. But but we're trying to get it right, you know what I mean? We are getting it right. It's getting better, a lot better. But that's why I believe this, the um, center didn't work because, you know, you had nobody who looked like them, mm -hmm. you know, to actually hanging out with them, you know, as a VISTA or an intern. Yeah. It was pitiful. And I said that, like, I was, uh, I was on the board of directors for Parks and Rec for some years in the, in it, for Winooski. And then um, I said it many times, and, and two rounds of VISTAs, they still, you guys still, well, the city of Winooski came out with this white people, or for people who, you know, who, you know, African American, I mean, people of color. <laughs> well, that's that don't make no sense. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the the focuses now is like, how do we do better with staff reflecting the community? We've made some headway, um, not a lot, and that is also one of the things that came out of the consultants' equity audit recommendation. <laughs> that we need to look at our no brainer. our HR policies, how we recruit, how we support um, staff. Um, yeah. We have seen some improvements on our police force. I, I've met hired cat, some community I members. Met, I met one uh, African American. Yeah. He seemed, was, did he used to be a state police? Seemed like I know him from. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the okay. backgrounds. Okay. Right. That's all right. But that was awesome to see um, that. that person yeah. But so so there is definitely a need there, and that we do need to to focus on and continue to make improvement on. That was awesome. He was at nighttime. He was being trained, you know. So I met him, you know. It was awesome. And he's like, I know you. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Did I, did I pay the ticket? <laughs> oh, it's funny. But um, so it was cool, you know what I mean? That, I'm happy about that. It's a start, you know. And, um, you know, I work with the chiefs around the around the um, county, and then I'm also sitting on Vermont State Police, Fair and Partial Police. And, and um, all, all of them are looking for people. Yeah. They're looking for, I think, um, as I said, they don't, um, uh, um, Ron's said, whole chief Ron Holt said, I don't think he said, I think he said they're good, they don't need nobody, but. Staffing's uh, been a challenge in, for police and fire for a while, yeah. and lately in public works as well. Oh, you wow. know, there's a general staffing challenge, oh, like, wow. post-pandemic, but there already were some issues there. Yeah, yeah, for years. So, yeah, so it is, hiring is hard, and we, you know, we've been, talking about with the new city manager, like how do we do more cultivation within our community to find local folks who are already here that want to, you know, work in city services. And um, to the extent we can do that, we can have stronger connections between what we're doing, have folks who reflect the community. So I think that's an important aspect as well. No doubt about it. And, um, you know, <clears throat> Elaine Wang is your new city manager. and. Um, and you know, I had some. I had a choice of um, candidates that, well, a couple of them, two I had didn't didn't win, but I mean, um, didn't get um, move on or whatever. But um, but um, after meeting Elaine and uh, talk with her and hearing her ideas and um, what you know her goals and and she always talking about community, community work with the people. You know, that's what she she was down on that, right? And then she, you know, she so she volunteer for all our stuff. You know, what I mean, fight the kids foundation. You know, she was down on that. You know, and that's, and um, and so you know, I like her a lot. You know, I'm liking. I like that you asked her to, you know, for her to talk to me about youth on boards. You know, what I mean, and we did. You know, we got a meeting coming up um, when we got to, meet, to talk about specifically youth on boards. But ain't like you don't need to share your schedule okay. on here. Uh, yeah. sure. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's right. Sorry, man. Thank you. Yeah. So, anyways, um. Um, the, the good thing is that um, we're going to be talking about youth on boards, 
you know, getting youth from um, boards. Like, you know, we created youth from boards for the city of Burlington and, and um, city of South Portland adopted mm -hmm. youth from boards, which, uh, well, you know, I, you know all about it. But um, so we're excited to get some youth from boards in, in Winooski, man. You said bring them on. That's what you told me. Sign yeah. them up. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeking, seeking right now. Um, any, um, yeah, so we actually, for the existing commissions, we are seeking new members right now. If anyone's interested in getting involved, you can also just contact me at um, klott at winooskivt.gov. And 766-1988 is also my, my phone number. Um, I think working with youth in the community is a really important strategy as well. Like, here's how you can build up folks to serve in the future. Um, to you know, if they're seeking careers, like let them know what we have here. I think also for like first generation immigrant families, it can be a really really good to establish that connection with kids who are new here, so that as they grow up, they feel really a part of the community. Um, so yeah, I hope you and Elaine have a good yeah. conversation on that. Awesome, you know, and like um and she you knows she we um kinda went over everything history of what you know how we work with the city and you know, who we are. She's really excited about um like our arts program and Brooke and doing some art stuff on her own self. And um just um I told her about the mural that we're gonna be re revamping it, you know. And she's excited to be a part of our tour. I said, our honorable mayor was out there, you know, would have paid rest stroking on that mural. And so, um, you know, so she's excited to be a part of when we, we kind of just touch up, we recreate it. I think, well, I think Elizabeth is going to recreate, want to recreate it. Uh, I don't blame her, but. Um, Elaine was a really excellent hire. Um, you know, we had a really strong city manager previously, big shoes to fill, and I think. Elaine Wong is a great person to fill those shoes. No doubt about it. And she does have a really collaborative community focus, which I think is what we need right now um, to try to make sure that we can bring in everybody. And I think she's done a good job already of putting herself out there, trying to meet folks, and saying, hey, I'm your point of contact if you need something from the city of Winooski. So, so I'm glad you said it because, you know, what exactly is her role? I mean, I should look up her Oh, job yeah. Description. So this is actually worth sharing. Um, the form of government in Winooski is called um, council manager. And so the city council, myself, and the four members, I chair that as the mayor. We are there for policy decision making. And then the city manager is like the chief executive of the staff um, in charge of operations and how we carry out those policies. So that's, you know, she's got a full time gig overseeing all of the staff and then interfaces with us. Um, I'm I'm like I'm a part-time mayor, um, and our council is part-time, right? They're, these aren't full-time jobs, and so we work together collaboratively. To it's our role to kind of to represent the community and bring in that community vision. So there's also there's onus on us to be getting out there and, and talking to different people and making sure we're not bringing solely our own perspective. Um, and so through through that work, you know, we set sort of a, a vision of here's where we're trying to go. And then it's her job to figure out with staff, you know, how are we going to do that? Um, how do we operationalize a language access plan, for example, which we don't have yet? Um, how do we support these commissions and, and meetings? Um, who's in charge of supporting this community event? So sort of in those more nitty, nitty gritty details. Hmm. That's cool, because like, you know, it's so important to, like you, like you, um, Honorable Mayor, is to be out like boots on the ground, you know, it's so important to be out in the community. People see you, oh, there's the mayor, you know, like when I was like, let me take a picture of the mayor, you know, <laughs> and um, people like doing that and they should be able to do it. And um, you should be in, in um, wherever you can be at, you know, I mean, you can't be like 100 of you, but you know, I do have, time. I do have a limit of <laughs> the amount of time I have, but mm. I am looking forward to there's a lot of summer events happening in Winooski this year, you know. As things have shifted with the pandemic, being able to gather outdoors in larger groups is wonderful. It's been a thing that we have missed for quite a while now and has, for me personally, has been a detriment to my ability to connect in the community. So I'm looking forward to getting out there more now. Um, the Centennial Celebration on Saturday was a really exciting event. 
a lot of different different people there, old, new, um, just, I, I saw tons of folks. Yeah. Um, you know, we have the Winooski Wednesdays events twice a month in the Rotary. Um, we have a Juneteenth celebration planned, um, French Heritage Day, and then I'm strategizing with um, counselors on other targeted outreach. Um, you know, we're doing some listening sessions with interpreters to hear from members of our non-English speaking community or, you know, English is not a primary language. Um, make sure we're hearing how they've been impacted by the pandemic and, and what their priorities will be going forward because, you know, we have that great community vision, but there's new, we have a new, new situations to respond to and, and maybe some priorities have shifted. So we want to hear all of that. Right. How do you um, get in touch with and advertise that to those communities? Um, we have, we do some work through the community, the cultural liaisons at the school district. Mm -hmm. um, and then AALV we work with at USCRI, you know, they have, um, they have folks in the community that they work with, that they serve. Um, the housing authority is sometimes a partner. You know, we have our our website where we put out information, Facebook and, and Instagram. Housing but Winooski Housing Authority, you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that, but like leaning on these other partners that are very connected in the community is important as well. There's more to be done there. There's definitely, that's something that we want to focus on in the future too, is like, how are we getting information out there? Is it the, it's obviously not the best. There's definitely room for improvement. So that's something that we need to, to look at as well. Um, so do you have a set date for when those listening in sessions are going to take place? Um, yeah, but they're, they're being coordinated right now. I, they're not, I can't say they're final. <laughs> We're finishing that up to make sure we have what the interpretation availability is. Right. Um, and then when that date is finalized, it'll be on the website and then mm -hmm. yeah. and elsewhere. Yeah, and we'll, we'll be working with those interpreters and, and the, you know, the liaisons and the um, organization serving new American community members to try to make sure they're all aware. Important. That's good. Awesome. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just, you know... <laughs> I'm just hoping, you know, I'm, it's all wonderful. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm sure it's going to work out just, just fine. I just want to let you know that whatever I can help you with, you know what I mean, let me know. And I'll, I'll boots on the ground for you or whatever. You know. Well, thank you. And I did want to also mention, like, how important it is to work with community partners. Mm -hmm. You know, you mentioned the Fight for Kids Foundation um, working towards creating a youth center. Right. I think that is an excellent strategy to address the problem that you surfaced earlier of, not staffing in a way that supports the, the audience you want to serve, it. right? Yeah. And yeah. so, um, you know, finding folks in the community already doing great work and trying to lift that up and support yeah. it is also really important. No doubt about it. And, and I want to thank you and the City Council for, for um, sponsoring uh, Fight for Kids Foundation. I should have wore the t-shirt today. <laughs> it's okay. Honorable Mayor is like that. It's, it's all you anyways, you know? You know, it's just like, you, whatever's good, that's what you're gonna support. I mean, like, you know, that's what you support, you know what I mean, the best you can, you know? And so, that's what we want, and when you're seeing whatever's good, you know what I'm saying? So, why not, you know what I mean? Why not support it, you know? You know, be a part of it, and try to make it meet the goals. Um, so, what else you got? Um, well, I was actually wondering, you'd mentioned a Juneteenth event. What do you guys have going on for that? There's gonna be a celebration in the Rotary what is it, Sunday the 19th? Um, music, activities, speakers. Um, it's gonna be like a celebration of black joy. We're working with community partners on that as well. Um, something that downtown Winooski and our equity director and some other folks have been involved in. Um, you know, we, we had our first one last year. And so hopefully we're bigger and better this year. Hope people come out for that. Awesome. Well, they'll be out there. Yeah. I mean, you know, you had Craig Mitchell out there. I've been working with Craig for many years. Oh, yeah. And, Craig's very involved as well. He's and, great. Uh, and uh, we, we've done events together for many years. We, we Winooski Strong, working. another Strong. great partner. Yeah. Down in downtown Winooski, right? They, they, um, uh -huh. awesome. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, the events that, you know, things that were new, things we're doing, 
all the different types of people that's coming. People from around, at least around the county, is understanding what um, um, what New Sea have to offer, and so. Um, and then we want that. We want them to come to our restaurants. We got a lot go of great new restaurants. Go ahead, Sarah's man. Cafe just opened. Vietnamese place. Um, there's a, a kebab shop opening downtown Ooh. soon. I like those. Morning Light. Uh, Hong Kong Bakery is expanding their outdoor seating. Mm -hmm. um, Fusion Cafe and Wicked Wings just opened on Main Street. There's another yeah. spot that's going to fill soon. So there's a lot to check out. Yeah. That's awesome. Wow, so that's what I'm talking about, you know. Yeah. So much cool stuff, you know, and, all, and a lot of cultural. These restaurants are like, God, you know, it's like your own around the world restaurants. Yeah. Isn't that cool? You know, you can, you can be like almost around anywhere in the world and you can have a, go to the restaurant right downtown or around town and have a great meal, you know, from people who was born and raised with the cultures of uh, types of foods that they are cooking. That's the best thing about it, you know what I mean? Of course. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can't wait to get to some of those restaurants. Jesus Christ! Um, then there's Tiny Thai. They they still is that the name? Is that their name? Tiny. Thai. Yeah, Tiny Thai. They're ah. they're up on Main Street. They moved to a new space. They're very mm -hmm. affordable as well. Yeah, Fodang is good too. Bodang. It's right across mm -hmm. the street. Fodang. Yeah. Wow. All right. Mm. Well, uh, we're gonna wrap it up okay. here. Awesome. We have it. Awesome. Uh, any, uh, anything else you'd like to mention coming up? I don't know. I think we, we covered a good <laughs> amount. A lot, yeah. yeah. Um, and you'd mentioned, you know, sources and places to check that all out. Your, uh, you want to give your contact information one more time? Yeah, so it's K-L-O-T-T -T at WinooskiVT.gov, 802-766-1988. You can call and text me. You can send an email. Whatever, whatever works. I'm on WhatsApp as well. So, hey, awesome. I know. So, all right. Well, thank you so much, Christine. It was a pleasure to have you here today. Um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Straight Talk Vermont. Um, my name is Lauren Tebow. Bruce Wilson and my dear honorable mayor Christine Lott, and my friend and. I'm so happy I live in Winooski. Thank you for giving me the opportunities to serve as well on, on the commissions and things that we do in Winooski. Well, thanks for having me and thanks for your engagement in our community as well.